We have to look at the people, the symptoms that people experience in life, and we have to relate them to the findings we find post-mortem. So when we look at Alzheimer's, for example, we have tau protein built up in the brain. But did you guys know that in about half of people that are diagnosed with Alzheimer's in life, when they die and they do an autopsy on their brain, half the time they have no evidence of Alzheimer's in their brain at all. Then the reverse is also true. When people die with no cognitive impairment whatsoever, they open it up, 50% of the time, they have Alzheimer's in their brain. So how do we know that the findings we're seeing pathologically on, on autopsy actually are the cause of the symptoms we're seeing in life? There's a disconnect there. Similar in CTE, some of the athletes that were ultimately diagnosed as having CTE did not have any symptoms in life whatsoever. They actually donated their brains as control athletes. I played football, didn't really have any type of cognitive issues in life, but here's my brain. CTE, okay? So why do some people have symptoms and other people do not? This is another question that has to be answered.